Welcome to the programme. We start in Gaza, where Israel's months-long bombardment shows no sign of easing. Several homes were destroyed after an airstrike hit a residential area north of the Nusret refugee camp in central Gaza. In the southern part of the Strip, at least eight people have been killed in an attack in Rafah. And multiple casualties have been reported after Israeli bombs hit a neighbourhood in Khan Yunis. Let's cross over to Hani Mahmoud in Rafa in southern Gaza with the very latest. A lot to focus on because various parts of the strip have been hit. Yes, and we're looking at a situation right now where the entire Gaza Strip has been equally bombed. I mean, there is no lit up in the attacks, no signs of slowing down. Here in Rafah City, just within the past half an hour, with the scenes of parents and remaining family members pouring into a Kuwaiti hospital, taking the bodies from last night attacks and transferring them to uh, Najjar Hospital, preparing for burial. But the scenes of the children wrapped in white sheets is still dominating uh, the scene right here. Uh, those people who were killed uh, last night in their residential homes, uh, they, they, they were sheltering in with her here in the western part of Rafah city, where uh, uh, nine people were killed. Six of them were children who suffered extreme devastating burns. And just within uh, like half an hour of their arrival to the hospital, they just died uh, because of, uh, of the, uh, the attacks on the residential home, because of the burn that they sustained and the injuries uh, of, of last night attack. Also, another attack in Egypt Eastern part of Rafah that happened half an hour before the second attack, where one lady was killed, one young lady was killed. The other one, uh, the other injuries were the vast majority made of of the children and people from the the vicinity of the area, just causing a great deal of panic as people were sheltering inside a preschool facility when a nearby residential home was targeted and destroyed. They died from the falling debris and and the shrapnel who fell and directly hit uh, hit people. Uh, Rafah, in lights of growing threats of expanding the uh, the ground invasion, uh, is right now at, at at a point where people do not have where to go, what to do. There's a shattered sense of of security, and it's important to point out that Rafah has been a major site of relentless attacks, either by air or land, from the initial weeks of this war. I mean, uh, the talks for the vast majority of people here, the talks about expanding the ground invasion serve as uh, as a distraction while at the same time the Israeli military through the relentless airstrike continue to pound uh, across the city mm. whether the eastern part the central part or the overcrowded western part of the city where evacuation zone is located yeah while that focus is on Rafa right now and the area where you are Hani there's also been a great deal of focus on Khan Yunis and Nusret overnight as well. Just briefly tell us what's been happening there as well. Mm -hmm. Well, ever since the Israeli military announced it's, uh, it had completed its oper military operations in Khan Yunis or the central area, we did not see any sign of slowing down the air attacks on these two areas, particularly in Nusayrat refugee camp and, and just new fresh air strikes happening within the past hours and early hours of this morning in the Nusayrat refugee camp, also the central part of the central area, just causing a great deal of destruction and causing further civilian casualties that are all transferred, reported to Al-Aqsa Hospital that is already exhausted, suffering from the extreme shortage of medical supplies. Uh, but the tragedy is the people who are still under the rebels from the time the Israeli military was operating aggressively in the Nusayrat refugee camp, the northern part of the camp itself, where people are still under the rebel. This is the third, the fourth day. Uh, with inability of, of the civil defense crew or paramedics to remove these bodies from under the ground. Within the past two hours, a, a t an attack on a residential block in Khan Yunis evacuation zone, that's Al Mawas evacuation zone, where the vast majority of displaced families and evacuees were ordered by the Israeli military at the initial weeks of the war to go and shelter there to avoid being bombed. But right now, we're seeing this is. This has been happening repeatedly. Uh, there are attacks inside their tents from the debris, from the, the falling shrapnels, or sometimes they are actually di directly hit while inside their tents. Uh, there are reports of multiple injuries right now, but there is a difficulty of transferring these injuries as the presence of a quad captors. These are attack drones and surveillance and drones make it very risky for paramedics and civil defense crew to do their job 
and help and save people who need help right now. Jaime Mahmoud there for us in Rafa in southern Gaza. Thank you.